Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Demetric LaCorn. I'm a local endodontist here in Marion County. And um, I have Dr. Don Bavell here with me today, an ER physician in Marion County as well. And we're going to be talking about some dental blocks that you can use in the emergency room to alleviate uh, dental pain. So the first block that we're going to discuss is the inferior alveolar nerve block. And the inferior alveolar nerve block, as you know, will block the, the entire mandible up to the midline. So we're pretty much going to go from the, the ramus of the mandible all the way up to Dr. Bavel's midline here. Okay? So there's some landmarks that we want to talk about. I'm going to use the back of this cotton tip applicator to point out some landmarks if you want to come in close. What we're actually looking at is a retromolar triangle, okay? So you can see this area here. This forms what we call the retromolar triangle, okay? And we are looking at the anterior border of the ramus, okay, which is obviously under the soft tissue, the anterior border of the ramus. And I like to use the exterior oblique ridge of the ramus as well, okay? And the pterygomandibular ligament, okay? So all of these landmarks form this triangle. And when I go to inject for the inferior alveolar nerve block, I'm going to come in from the bicuspids on the contralateral side, okay? So this is where my syringe is going to come in, the bicuspids from the contralateral side. And I'm going to aim right at the center of my triangle, and I will just inject just superficially under the soft tissue and inject maybe a quarter carpule of anesthetic. And then I'm going to pull out just slightly, not completely out of the soft tissue. You still want the tip of the needle to be under the soft tissue superficially. And you're going to move to the ipsilateral side and you're going to pretty much almost bury the hub of the needle to about two to three millimeters of being at the hub of the needle and then come back to the contralateral side uh, where the premolars are, slightly inject. Remember to aspirate before you infiltrate. And then you can inject the remaining uh, portion of the carpule. First thing I'm gonna do here is dry Dr. Bavel's tissue that I'm gonna place in the triangle area, leave my gauze there and get Dr. Bavel to close down for me. Typically, you can leave the topical there anywhere from five to eight minutes. Um, the longer you leave, the less the, the patient will feel the injection. Um, but for the sake of demonstration here, we won't leave it for, for that amount of time. And really, it's, it's not that uh, painful, uh, the inferior alveolar injection. Of course, it is a needle, so the patient will feel a little bit, um, but it's not too bad. I'm using Carbocane here because we don't want Dr. Bavel to be numb all afternoon. But if you wanted a patient to have more longer lasting anesthetic, then I would recommend Bapivacaine or Marcaine. Now this is, we have two different types of needles. We have a 30 gauge short. I use a 30 gauge short for every single injection that I give. And there's also a 27 gauge long. You can use this, whichever one you have, either one will work fine. As I said, I'm going to use the 30 gauge short. Okay, I'll take the topical out. And here again, I'm going right from my triangle. I'm at the over the contra the ipsil, uh, the contra at lateral side with my premolars, and I'm just gonna go slightly underneath the tissue. I'm only wiggling his cheek just slightly to, to distract him, and I've injected just a little bit. I stop injecting, come to the ipsilateral side to go along the ramus, and I'm almost up to the hub. Come back to the premolar side, and I will inject the remainder of the carpule. Remember to aspirate before you infiltrate and come out. That is the inferior alve alveolar nerve block. That was pretty painless. Good.